Hey guys, so uh, in this video, we'll be exploring uh, two very interesting products that I am interested to try out. Um, uh, they're both made by Peak Design and it's their Slide and Slide Light uh, camera strap system. Uh, I bought those two because I really loved uh, what I saw in some of the videos uh, on YouTube. Um, some photographers actually use this system and I found it very intuitive and uh, extremely good for uh, the kind of work that I do. Um, I shoot a lot of um, engagement um, photos and sometimes I shoot weddings. Um, I need a camera system or like at least a strap system that would allow me to quickly exchange cameras. And then I don't want to have camera strap on all of my cameras because I'll only be using one uh, at a time. Um, so. I think this this uh, Peak Designs slide system actually fits the bill perfectly. Um, so today I'm going to be doing, I guess, a quick unboxing of the two products. So I bought the slide actually uh, to be used for two of my larger DSLR cameras. Uh, and I bought the slide light because I just pre-ordered the Sony's a7 III. And uh, it's not arriving until um, two weeks later. So I may do another video of the slide light in detail uh, when my uh, Sony camera arrives and see how it performs on the smaller camera body. But supposedly the uh, slide is, uh, works best on the big DSRs and slide light is for smaller mirrorless cameras. And uh, um, not sure if you noticed or not, but this is their newest edition. It's their version three. So the model number for the slide is SLBK3 and uh, the model number for the slide light is SLL BK3. Um, compared to the previous generation, I think um, from what I know from the videos, they've actually improved uh, the thickness on some of the areas that I think bothered some of the photographers before in the previous generation. Uh, and most of the other things uh, I think remain the same. So they all should work extremely well hopefully so we're doing a test video after um after I, I do the unboxing first but let's get started uh so this is their slide i'm gonna do the slide first and the packaging is very apple like um and it's of course made by peak design not sure if it can focus or not let's see okay good so peak design and uh of course on the back it's got some pictures and as you can see, it's it's extremely substantial compared to the regular camera back, uh, camera strap. So let's see how you open it. So uh, supposedly it comes with four adapters, which fits two cameras, and then the camera strap itself. So there's a little tab that says open here, but I think mine has already opened before uh, before I even did anything. So it might be damaged during shipping, but. Uh, We'll see. Opening the packaging and try to slide things out. Let's see if I can slide it out. Put my cameras away for now. Focus on the camera strap. Well, it's the interesting. Uh, I guess <laughs> there's a flip. I didn't even notice. So, um, Yep, flip it on. I guess if you saw it in the stores, you'll be able to feel the materials and the quality um, of the construction of, of the uh, camera strap. So it holds 200 pounds uh, plus of weight and it's good for smaller cameras to uh, biggest cameras, even binoculars. Um, and of course it have different wearing positions. You can wear it like a messenger bag, you can wear it on the shoulder and of course um, on your neck. Uh, very interesting. So adjustable length from 58 inch to 40 inch. Um, let's see what other things. Works good with any tripod plate or L bracket. So obviously you can attach it onto a tripod plate as well. Hmm. Okay. Um, and of course they have a, I think a silicon area that supposedly is improved from the previous uh, SL2 version. Um, let's see, so basically you can flip it so it's more grippy. If you don't want the grip, you can just flip it back and use the other side. 
very interesting. So let's open it up. First, I need to figure out exactly how to pull it out. Or there is a little arrow. Okay. But it seems like I'm unable to pull it out. Weird. I'm wondering what's what's causing it from getting out. Okay, almost out. So like that. It's a it's a big box. And uh put it on the side. And of course this little small box <laughs> looks like that, interestingly. Um and then of course you can open like that. And then of course it's got some usual strings to fix it onto the thing so now i have the most of the strap off and there's one more right here just take it off and last but not least the little tab is right over here I think I just used my force to pull it off, uh, which might not be a good idea. There's a little thing that it actually it took a piece of paper off with it. So put all the packaging aside. Take a look at the tab itself. So there's a little bag. I think there's the uh, some sort of adapter. Um, I think that's for um, if you like to mount it in the tripod hole. Um, it's got one of those uh, tripod adapter. Because um, some people prefer to have the strap mounted on their tripod hole. So opening it up, there's a little nice bag for you. Storage bag. Um, feels like microfiber. Okay. Um, move my camera a little bit. Okay. So there's uh, the extra tabs. So basically, on this one it tells you how to use it um, so actually it's a dual layer design so actually inside of this nylon fabric it's I guess try to focus hard to focus um, it's got a little red another I guess a more uh, robust uh, fiber layer inside of this so black string so it should hold your camera very securely um, and again, I think they have their lifetime warranty. Um, so if it actually was defect uh, during the time of the um, use, you can always get um, get it replaced, I assume. But you don't want to have any accidents because then your camera will be dropped on the floor. So that would be no good. All right, so let's try to refocus. Look at the camera strap itself. Uh, the quality of the material Yes, it's very thick, very heavy duty nylon. Uh, it feels thicker than my seat belt, honestly. Uh, well, that's it's not a uh, overstatement um, or understatement. Let's see. So I need to figure out how to actually take <laughs> take the tab out of this thing. Um, so okay, so it looks like it's spring loaded. So I guess if I if I just push it a little bit. Try to focus again. So, if I push it a little bit, I can take it out very easily. But if I don't push it, there is no way of this thing getting out. So push it and remove it. Super easy. Um, let's see. So this one, I'm gonna try attach it to one of my cameras and do a little quick test. But um, try to zoom in again. The construction. Is very heavy duty. I mean, this is uh, nylon, but I I don't doubt that it should hold the weight of the camera um, because it, it seems very sturdy and tough. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, there's three of the tabs. I think the last one is also attached to the camera strap itself. I'll do some close up of the camera strap uh, and the design. So. And this is the um, this is the area that actually uh, attaching to the uh, quick release buttons. 
very easy to install and very easy to un like unhook if you intentionally wanted to do so but uh, I think unintentionally there's no way that it can get unhooked that easily uh, take an even closer look and this feels like it's not leather but it looks like some sort of heavy duty coated nylon uh, very nice red accent over there of course red accent on the side of the tab very nice and then this is the side profile try to zoom uh, this is the side profile of the strap itself and of course I think this is one of the coolest looking design for a camera strap system it like, looks like a ratcheting system that you can uh, so basically you unlock it and then you lock it so it doesn't move around and it's super easy super quick to adjust so now sorry it's not supposed to do that um, let's see so if you actually see which way is a lock I need to figure it out obviously this thing doesn't lock and I wonder how does it work because apparently look at that it doesn't it doesn't lock properly I would assume this is a lock but it's not working properly I pull it down and I mean this area of course is not gonna move but then on the back it's not locking at all did I get a defect item I hope not and maybe I did it wrong so I guess I need to read the instruction uh, obviously I thought it should be able to work immediately and uh, but it's not so on both sides this is loose and then I don't know what this little tab is for maybe it's not for locking the locking the thing um, but we'll find out soon. So let me find the instruction and see how to adjust this little, uh, this little thing. Hopefully it have a instruction. So I'm just looking through the instructions. So I would assume that you maybe need to apply some of the weight of the camera for it to be able to lock. So if there's no weight attached, I think it might not work. So I guess the next step uh, will be for me to actually just attach two of the tabs to my camera and see uh, if it actually works on the shoulder uh, or not. Okay, so. Basically, you have two adjusters. So supposedly one is for the back and one is for the front. So the back is a long-term adjustment and the front you can quickly adjust back and forth for um, perfect fitment of different camera setups. All right, so let's give it a try. Um, I was not able to lock the strap. By the way, let's take a closer up of the strap. Okay, of course the PD logo and a nice looking red uh, aluminum uh, screw right over here. And the inner part is plastic and this is the aluminum piece. So I would assume it's a lock. Hopefully it locks. All right, so um, I'll take one of my strap off because it's been a long time that I really wanted to, um, oh look, it actually comes with a little hex wrench um, that I totally missed. Something wrong with my camera's focus today. It's not working. So what's this for? And that is for attaching the little plate to um, to your camera. So, all right. Things aside, I am gonna first just unhook my um, my camera on my D five hundred. I really, really, really do not like those straps made by um, all the camera manufacturers either Nikon or Canon or Sony because they all feature this very uncomfortable rubbery part on the bottom and uh, um, 
especially during hot like seasons, it's very sweaty to use and very uncomfortable. So first thing first, I'm actually gonna just take it off and put on the new tab. Of course, the uninstallation will be super quick. And if this works well, I'm gonna take off my leather strap that I have on my D750. And then we're gonna try on a few different lenses and see if it actually supports the weight of the bigger lenses on your DSLRs. All right, so Nikon strap off. Bye-bye Nikon strap. And uh, hello, Peak Design Sling, or Slide, whatever it's called. <laughs> okay, so this thing, of course, you just attach like any other um, strings that you attach to your cell phone. It's basically just a, just a loop. So you loop it over, and then it's locked. Um, I, another concern I can immediately see is that uh, Nikon's... Uh, Nikon's little like thing that holds the strap is a triangle shape. So I'm thinking if I should just take the triangle shape off and use the actual anchor right over there for better fitment because this one doesn't fit well. Um, if it's wrong, it might work. I remember Canon's was wrong. Maybe. Maybe I remember it wrong. As you can see, it's a pain to take those off as well so the triangle one is off and whew, the other side thank god I still have some nails otherwise I would never be able to get this off okay all right it's off Okay, so now let's uh, actually put the strap or put the little peak design tab on. Okay, another problem is, yes, it fits through the little hole, which is good. And it's mounted like that. All right, so I'm gonna mount another one on this side. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yep. That's good. So we just route it through and then pull it out. And you secure it like that, it's super easy. And then of course, to put the, uh, the slide strap on, super, super easy. Basically you just put it here and just push ever so slightly and it's, it's mounted. Super, super easy, I love that. I love the ability to quickly switch cameras on just one strap. That's very important for me. Um, and I think Peak Design actually understands the problem that a lot of photographer faces. So right now the camera is mounted. And as you can see how quickly it is to just get the strap mounted and ready to go. Um, in terms of, um, I guess in terms of using the, um, the silicone side, or the smooth side, uh, it's just a matter of like flipping the camera strap fairly quickly. But you don't want to over flip because, of course, there's not a adjustable, um, there's not a adjustable thing over here. So if you spin it too much, it's gonna get twisted. So keep the spinning to the to the minimum. So um, that way you should have a longer life for um, for your tabs. Okay, so. Now let me try to uh, put the camera on and see how it fits. All right, guys, so um, I have my wife help me hold the camera, so hold my phone, so I would be able to try on the strap actually in person on me uh, because uh, the problem we talked about, the camera, this was kind of loose when, uh, when, it was not, when it was not mounted on the camera, but it seems like it actually holds in place when it actually um, is attached to the camera, so I don't doubt that it's gonna lock very nicely. But let's let's just give it a try. So he said it have three 
different holding modes. Obviously, this is too long. So I guess to adjust it, I would have to unlock it. And uh, let's see, you might have to push upwards and then you can lock it on this side. So this side, I guess it's the exact same thing. You unhook it and you just pull it up and then actually adjust the length a little bit over. So before it was like that and now it's like here, which is very nice if you like holding it that way. But a lot of times uh, for me, I like to hold it on the side of the strap. So actually here, I'm gonna use the silicone side because that's gonna hold um, onto my shoulder a little bit better. And as you can see, it doesn't have any problem holding it. Um, it actually is very grippy. It doesn't slip off. So if I use the, um, the other side, it kind of slips around. So the silicone, the silicone area is definitely good for if you're putting it on your shoulder like, like this. But then I think there is a third way that they have, which they advertised, is to have it like a messenger bag like that. So obviously, if I put it like that, I need to adjust the, the, uh, the strap. And they said the back strap, you can adjust the ones. I try to use my hand to adjust the back one, which obviously is gonna be hard. But I think you can just pull it down a little bit and then lock it. So the back one is adjusted and the front one, I guess if you want it to be a little bit lower when it's on the side, but I think right now it's already a perfect length. So like that, I don't have to have my hand and then when it's ready to shoot, I just do that. Super, super easy and super simple. At the same time, I could be holding another camera, uh, maybe my D750 on hand, so like that. And uh, of course, hopefully I'll be replacing uh, this strap if this one works really good. So I have all the cameras on the tabs and maybe all the cameras on the uh, Peak Designs, uh, what's it called, the, the slide strap. And uh, so far, I think it works extremely well and it's extremely versatile. Um, the advantage compared to a regular camera strap, I'll just use this as an example, is the quick adjustment ability because this one is fixed to adjust it is really, really slow. Um, and this one's, um, I kind of set it up to be kind of used on the side. And obviously, as you can see, it's super, super long. And uh, I could potentially put it over here. And that's about a good length. So now it comes to, I could use the this camera on a regular strap and just hold it on the side in a messenger bag style and use this one as my quick release camera. Um, if later on I um, add the Sony into the collection as well. So like that, basically you're gonna have two cameras on your body. Um, of course, shooting is extremely convenient. Of course, this one might be a little awkward because of that. Um, so at least you can hold two cameras on your body very comfortably. Um, but, okay, I think there's a potential issue, which is right over here. Um, you want to zoom in a little bit um, you see it's already twisted so it looks like this system is very easy to get twisted and tangled um, hopefully during use is not as bad because that would potentially be a, a, a big issue because uh, it wears out much much quicker those nylon uh, little tabs if it gets twisted all the time so that could be a potential issue, but this is a brand new strap. I haven't started using it. So maybe when it comes time to um, actually do the uh, slide light review on my Sony uh, a7 III, uh, we'll talk about the issue because um, before that I have a wedding to shoot and I, I'm definitely gonna be bringing this camera strap system uh, into use and give you guys the impression in the next video. But so far, um, I think I really like the design. It's very versatile. It's super, super quick and easy to adjust. So now I know that the issue I talked about earlier, which with this thing being loose, even if you lock it, is because you need to actually give it some weight. So if you give the weight, it, it doesn't move around, okay? And uh, so there you have it. Um, I think that sums up the uh, quick uh, unboxing and uh, trial of the Peak Designs uh, slide camera strap. 
if you guys, uh, and also this is the newest version, it's a version 3. Um, of course, there would be slight differences between this one and the old one. I think mainly on the um, on the design or the thickness of the buckle area, because the previous generation, I think some user complained about the buckle being too bulky to be carrying around. And this one is definitely very slim, and it doesn't it, it doesn't feel intrusive um, during use at all. So hopefully that's an improvement. But uh, keep posted. I'll be posting a updated. Uh, review for the camera strap um, and also a review for the uh, slight light very soon. Another potential issue after I did uh, my uh, video uh, for the uh, Peak Design uh, slide camera strap is that I realized that the the side with silicone coating um, is actually on the outside of the um, of the camera strap and uh, I didn't find a way to adjust this to the inside being the default um, contact point with my skin um, and I don't see how you can take this whole system out like I haven't figured out a way um, maybe there is one there is ways but it looks like the strap is actually fixed onto, um, onto this plastic um, buckle itself and there's no way to remove at least a part of the strap so that's something to keep in mind because if you want do you want to use this area and uh, the little buckle would be on the inside and it might be slightly uncomfortable during use uh, that's something to keep in mind also I want to show you guys um, the actual tab uh, locking system it's um, it's actually steel um, the exterior is plastic but the actual locking mechanism is steel uh, so in terms of durability this should definitely last uh, and it feels like a very quality made product product so um, again thank you so much for watching and if you guys have any questions about uh, the camera strap feel free to ask me in the comments section and I know um, during the video I forgot to actually mount a bigger heavier lens onto the uh, onto the camera and test it out but um, as I said um, rest assured this is a very very sturdy strap and uh, it should be very comfortable um, to hold all different weight and sizes of DSRs um, at least for me uh, so uh, take my words for it it's extremely comfortable but at the same time it's extremely costly uh, this strap I think it's $69 uh, so it's, it's fairly expensive um, but considered a long-term investment and uh, there you have it. Thanks again, guys, and uh, take care.